In today's video, we're going to be talking about whether or not you should tell people in your life that you're stacking the silver and the gold. I'm talking about your friends, your family, your kids, your coworkers. Should you let them know or should you keep it a secret? What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. I hope you're doing well, feeling great and staying safe. It's a great day to have a great day. Today, I wanted to talk about silver and also gold and whether or not I believe it's something that you should keep a secret. We're gonna get into it, but really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there, go check it out. The link will be in the description. And if you wanna get some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel, I would really, really, really appreciate it. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. But today is Thursday, April 15th, 2021. It is 55 degrees outside and it's raining. And I will be honest, it is incredibly difficult to be motivated on a day like today where you can actually see on screen right now how it's looking. I'm enjoying the day anyway, filming the video outside in my car this time. So if you hear any background noise, car driving past, or some birds in the background, that'd be exactly why. Today I wanted to talk about keeping your silver and your gold a secret, and whether it's something that you should stay away from telling anyone in the world, or whatever the case may be. And by the way, just in case anybody's wondering, the spot price of silver as I'm recording the video is $25.90, and the spot price of gold is $1,766 dollars and 60 cents. That's as I'm filming, not as I'm editing, posting, or as you're watching it. So head on down to the comments. Let me know the date and time you're viewing the video and what the current spot price is for you. Now back to keeping your silver a secret. In no way, shape, or form am I going to sit here and tell you not to tell anyone on the planet about your silver and gold considering I post videos about silver and gold every single day. So it might be a little bit strange for a channel that tells thousands of people on a daily basis about silver and gold to keep your silver and gold a secret. So I won't tell you to do that. However, generally speaking, the less people you tell, the better. And it's for a variety of different reasons, which I will be getting into in today's video. Now, of course, I post videos about silver and gold. People in different cities, states, even different countries, watch my videos. All over the planet, people are watching these videos. But the people who are in my life, the people that I know in person, my friends and family members, that's a different story. I can count on one hand how many people I know in real life that have any knowledge that I have silver and gold. And the few people who do know that I have silver and gold have zero idea how much silver and gold I actually have. And by the way, same could be said about everyone on the internet as well. Nobody who has ever watched any of my videos knows how much silver and gold I have. That's not something that I personally disclose. I don't do full stack videos. In fact, I've always considered full stack videos to be foolish. The reason for that is just because I don't believe it's anybody's business how much money you have, how much money you make, how much money you spend, how much money you invest, or anything like that. So that's something that I keep to myself. My videos are not about bragging about how much money and wealth I have. Because I know the amount of silver and gold I have isn't even a scratch on the surface in comparison to what a lot of other people out there have. So I'm not here to brag. I'm not here to do anything like that. I'm just simply making videos to give people a place to hang out for about maybe 20 minutes to talk about silver and gold during the live video premiere and in the comments section. That's all. Just a fun place to hang out and talk about something that we all have in common. But for the people in your life, your friends, your family members, should you let them know? In my opinion, I would say probably not. I don't tell my friends and family members about the silver and the gold. Now, if you're married, in my opinion, I do believe the spouse should know. That's up to you if you want to disclose it to your spouse. I just personally value transparency and being on the same page. So I don't think making financial decisions behind your spouse's back is the greatest idea. Now, I'm not married. I've never been married. I never will get married. But hypothetically, if I were to get married, 
I wouldn't really appreciate it if I found out that she was making financial decisions behind my back. Even if it was for wealth preservation purposes, I wouldn't really respect that it was done behind my back or that something sneaky or, or, or discreet was going on without my knowledge. But that's just me. You could do whatever you want to do in your marriage. It doesn't faze me in the slightest bit. But I do believe the spouse should know. Now, as for the kids, potentially, similar to a spouse, I don't have kids. I've never had kids. I will not have kids. But hypothetically, if you were to have kids, I personally think that maybe when they're the right age, could be a pretty decent idea to inform them, teach them about the precious metals. You might not have to tell the five-year-old that you have hundreds and hundreds or thousands of troy ounces of silver and all this gold and tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars packed into precious metals. Because guess who's going to end up bringing a little silver bar to school for show and tell and tell everybody that their parents have all this money at home? That's something that you might want to wait until they're the right age to really get into that. Also, depending on your purpose for stacking, you might actually be stacking for your kids. I get tons of comments from people saying that they're stacking silver and gold not necessarily to preserve wealth for themselves, but to use it as somewhat of a family heirloom in a way. And their goal, their plan, their objective is to stack silver so they can pass it down to their kids and or their grandkids once they're gone, which I think is an incredible thing. Now, we also have to talk about the people in your life who are not in your family, not the spouse, not the kids, but maybe your friends, maybe your co-workers. Should these people know that you're stacking silver and gold? Now, unfortunately, this is a little bit tricky. The answer isn't tricky. The answer is, if you want to keep it to yourself, you should probably keep it to yourself. It's really nobody's business. You don't have to let your friends and co-workers know about what you're doing from a financial perspective. That's something you can keep to yourself for safety and security purposes. But what's tricky is that who in your life do you probably spend the most time with? It's probably not your family. It's probably your coworkers. It's probably your friends. I mean, think about it. We all go to work seven, eight, nine, ten hours a day. We're side by side with our coworkers. We barely even see our families half the time. Sometimes we'll see our friends. We'll meet up after work. Or on the weekends, and we'll talk about things that we might not talk about with our family. And what is something that you're probably going to want to talk about with the people that you spend the most time with? It's probably going to be your interests, your hobbies, and the things you're passionate about. Whether it be cars, whether it be fishing, whether it be painting, whether it be coins. If there's something that you're into, It's just human nature. You're going to want to talk about it. It's exciting. You're enthusiastic about it. You're passionate about it. It's something that you're a big fan of. It's a big part of your life. You're going to want to talk to people about it. It's just a fun thing to talk about. Why would you not want to talk about it? You know how many people watch TV at night and they go to work the next day and they talk to all their coworkers about what happened on that show? It's the same thing. Something that you're excited about. So that's where things get tricky. I personally don't necessarily see an issue telling a couple of friends about the silver and the gold. I don't think it's the greatest idea to tell your coworkers about the silver and gold just because they know exactly when you're not home, if you know what I mean. Now, I'm not a big believer in, you know, pushing paranoia or anything like that, but I would rather play it safe and I'm not really too big into talking to my coworkers to begin with. But as for your friends, I don't really see any real harm. If you trust your friend, now of course, there's always going to be that one person out there who has had a bad experience. They told somebody that they trusted about their silver and gold, and it ended up backfiring on them. That, unfortunately, is a risk you're going to be taking if you tell somebody about your silver and your gold. If that's not a risk you're willing to take, then don't tell them. If it is a risk you're willing to take, maybe you 
wholeheartedly believe that you can trust this person and you know for an absolute fact that they're not going to take something that belongs to you without your permission and you want to introduce them to the silver and gold stacking concept, maybe you want to help them out from a financial perspective and say, hey, I found potentially a better way of saving. It beats a savings account. It's a hedge against inflation. It appreciates in value as the dollar bill depreciates in value. If you want to introduce it to them from that perspective, keep in mind, you don't have to tell people how much you have. You can just say you have a couple of coins. Maybe a friend or a family member got you into coin collecting and you just have a handful of different coins and you're trying to learn a little bit more about it. You can introduce it to them from that perspective. You might be somebody who's been stacking for a couple of years, maybe even a couple of decades. And if you want to introduce it to someone, you can play it off like you're a rookie, someone that just got started or, 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 or something that you just discovered. You can even tell them that you haven't even gotten started yet. It's just something that you're thinking about and you want to know their opinion. You don't have to disclose all of this information if that's not what you want to do. You can keep that to yourself. Like I said, that's something that I keep to myself. Not a person on this planet that knows how much silver and gold I have. Not to say that I have all that much to begin with. But I don't let people know how many dollars I have in the bank. Therefore, why would I tell them how many troy ounces I have in the safe? That's how I've always seen it. But coming around full circle, like I said at the beginning of the video, the less people you tell, generally, the better. For safety and security purposes... It's probably better for the smallest possible number of people to know. Now, what I found, my fear in telling people, doesn't come from the person that I'm telling. For me, it was always being hesitant to tell somebody something in fear that they will tell somebody who might not have the best intentions. They might innocently run it by somebody. For example, if I was talking to... Someone over here about the silver and the gold that I have. I can tell them that I've been stacking for a couple of years, going on three and a half years at this point. I've been stacking as consistently as possible, as aggressively as possible, and I pretty much cut back on a lot of my expenses. That way I have more dollars left over to convert into even more silver and gold each month, and that's just what I've been doing for the last couple of years. They might not have any bad intentions. They might think it's pretty cool. They might think it's pretty lame. They might think it's boring and not care. But who knows? What if they bump into somebody that they know? And I don't know. Silver comes up or gold comes up. Maybe the person that they're talking to has a, a nice new gold chain. Maybe they're a SoundCloud rapper and things are really popping off and they have like 16 followers now and they got themselves a gold chain to celebrate. They could say it. Hey, speaking of gold, remember DYDSS from high school? Remember that guy? Yeah, he told me a couple weeks ago that he has a bunch of gold. You remember him. You know where he lives. He's on 123 Sesame Street. You know where he works, too. That means you know exactly when he's not home. He's got a bunch of money in his house. Wouldn't you believe it? Again, not to push paranoia. Not telling you that if you tell somebody, they're going to go tell everybody in the world and broadcast it to all their friends and families at Thanksgiving dinner or whatever. But, unfortunately, you can tell whoever you want to tell, but you have no idea who they're going to tell. You can remove that from the equation altogether by simply just not telling people people in your life can't tell other people if you don't tell them so that's kind of the way i see it i want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic when it comes to the silver and the gold how many people know that you're stacking would you say that it's absolutely zero maybe one to five people like i would say for myself Maybe 5 to 10 people, maybe more than 10. Maybe you tell everyone in the world. Maybe you can't even go to Walmart without telling the cashier. Hey, I got silver bars. Have a nice day. Who knows? Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. And if you had to guess, or maybe you actually keep track, how many people would you say know that you're stacking the precious metals? And if anybody's interested in joining the Precious Metals VIP Club, it's where I can do things on my own terms. Not on YouTube's terms. My terms. I'm hosting privately held live streams. They're smaller and easier to manage. I'm also doing giveaways, discounts, personalized promo codes, shout outs, deal alerts when silver and gold is on sale on a variety of different websites. And of course, you can watch all of my videos early and commercial free. Come join the Precious Metals VIP Club. It'll be the first link in the description. You're invited. I'd be happy to have you.
And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to hit that subscribe button like a Karen hits a bus window. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Bunch of brand new videos over there. Just posted a new one about recovery stocks. Also one about silver, one about gold, one about the Suez Canal, one about the credit card crackdown, and even one about the tech stock sell-off we've been seeing over the last couple of weeks. Go check them out. The link will be in the description. Trying really hard to hit 3,000 subscribers. We just hit 2,000, and I appreciate that. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products, t-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations, such as the recently released Kraken Stacken t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug, inspired by the beautiful two ounce silver Kraken coin, which by the way is helping us raise a little bit of funds and awareness for ocean cleanup charity organizations at no additional cost to you. It comes out of my pocket, not yours. And of course, the brand new DYDSS Karen Free Zone t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug. My name is not Karen. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know once again, when it comes to stacking, is it something that you keep a secret? I know that there's a very famous comment. Every time I make a video like this, I get the same comment from a variety of different people. And that is something about how the number one rule for stacking is that you don't tell people that you're stacking. I've always been of the mentality where it's, screw your rules. Rules are for the obedient. <laughs> but if you want to tell people, understand the risks. If you want to tell people, understand what you should be cautious about. There are some people who maybe you should tell, and there's maybe a couple people out there who you should probably not tell. At the end of the day, it's your choice, but generally speaking, the less people you tell, it's probably the better. Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace. Hey, by the way, I'm editing the video right now. If I had waited just a couple of minutes to film the video, this is what it would have sounded like the whole time.